students of class 10 in my last video I worked out the problems given in your exercise 8.2 of your textbook I completed up to question number two in question number one there were six questions in question number two there were five questions I completed all those now I am coming to question number three Question number three, Roman one. Question number three, Roman one. It is given 10 A plus B is equal to root three. 10 A plus B is equal to root three. And 10 A minus B is equal to Ten a minus b is equal to one by root three, where where a plus b is greater than zero, but less than or is equal to 90 degree and also a is greater than b a is greater than b you have to find a and b how to find actually here are two equations given the first one is given 10 a plus b The value of 10 a plus b is given root 3. Now, which standard angle of 10 has the value root 3? It is 60 degree. So we write 10 60 degree. That is 10 a plus b is equal to 10 a plus b is equal to 10 60 degree it means a plus b is equal to 60 degree this is equation number one and another one given 10 a minus b 10 a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3 that is 10 a minus b is equal to 10 30 degree the value of 10 30 degree is 1 by root 3 so we get a minus b is equal to 30 degree this is equation number 2 now you know how to solve linear simultaneous equations these two are nothing but linear simultaneous equations from number 1 and 2 we get if we add the two equations number one plus number two implies a plus a twice a plus b minus b zero so twice a left side is twice a and the right side is 60 degree plus 30 degree is 100 uh, is 90 degree 60 plus 30 is 90 so what is a a will be 90 divided by 2 that is 45 degree thus we have found the value of a 45 degree see whether this satisfies the given condition or not you are given a plus b is greater than 0 degree yes a plus b is greater than 0 degree but it is less than or is equal to 90 degree yes less than we have found So A is 45 degree. Now if you put if you put the value of A in equation number 1 or equation number 2, we can get the value of B. Putting A is equal to 45 degree in equation number 1, suppose. 
So equation number one is A, A is 45 degree plus B is equal to 60 degree. So what we get B is equal to 60 degree minus 45 degree is 15 degree. Thus we have found A is equal to 45 degree and B is equal to 15 degree. So this is the answer. <clears throat> Again let us come to Roman 2 of this question number 3. Roman 2. Roman 2 of question number 3. See, trigonometry is a very new subject for you. That is why I am doing all the problems of your exercises. You are given sin x plus y is equal to 1. And other is cos x minus y. Let us write it here. Cos x minus y is equal to root 3 by 2. These are the two equations given. And x is greater than y given. Also, x plus y is greater than or is equal to 0 degree. But less than or is equal to 90 degree. You have to find x and y. The similar process sin x plus y is 1 given. Now, which standard angle has the value 1 for the trigonometric ratio sin? 90 degree. So we write sin 90 degree. Ultimately, we get x plus y is equal to 90 degree. This is equation number 1. Here, cos x minus y is equal to root 3 by 2. Which standard angle has the value root 3 by 2 for the trigonometric ratio cosine? Cosine 30 degree is root 3 by 2. So ultimately cos 30 degree. Ultimately here we get x minus y is equal to 30 degree. This is your equation number 2. So again linear simultaneous equations if we add both the two equations, we get twice x plus y minus y 0 is equal to 90 plus 30 is 120. It means x is equal to 120 by 2 is 60, 60 degree. Now if we put, if we put the value of x is equal to 60 degree in any of the equations. So let us put it in number one. You can put it in number two also. You will get the same result. So x is equal to 60 degree. x for x we write 60 degree plus y is equal to 90 degree. Hence y is equal to 90 degree minus 60 degree is 30 degree. Thus we have got x is equal to 60 degree and y is equal to 90 degree. Now see whether these two values of x and y satisfies the condition or not. You are given x plus y more than 0 or is equal to 0. Is equal to 0 nahi ho raha hai. More than 0, yes, it is more than 0. 60 plus 30 is 90, more than 0. And also given less than or is equal to 90. Less nahi ho raha hai, lekin is equal to ho raha hai. 60 plus 30 is 90. Thus, we have solved these two problems in, given in question number 3. Now come to question number 4. In question number 4, 
it is given state whether the following are true or false so here are five statements given you are to ascertain whether the given statements are true or false you are to justify your answer also sin a plus b is equal to sin a plus sin b it is given question number four roman one sin a plus b is equal to sin a plus sin b this equation this statement is never true is not true as because it is sign of the angle a plus b not sign into a plus b so is not true because sign a plus b means sign of the angle a plus b now come to question number 2 The value of sine theta The value of sine theta increases The value of sine theta increases as theta increases as theta increases whether it is true or not it is true q is true you know sine 0 degree is 0 30 degree is half 0 degree 0 30 degree half 45 degree 45 degree 1 by root 2 then 60 degree root 3 by 2 and 90 degree 1 thus we see it increases 0 degree if 0 is less than half half is less than 1 by root 2 and root 3 by 2 is less than 1 by root 2 and root 3 by 2 is less than 1 thus the value of sin theta increases as theta increases it is true because Sine 0 degree is 0 and it goes on, it increases, it increases to 1 for sine 90 degree. Now let us come to question number three. The value of cos theta increases as theta increases. The value of cos theta increases. as theta increases is false 
is not true rather we write is not true as because cos 0 degree is 1 and it decreases and it decreases to 0 for cos 90 degree sin 0 degree mein humko 1 milta hai aur sin 90 degree mein ja ke 0 milta hai so decrease hota hai theta increase hone se decrease hota hai then question number 4 sin theta is equal to cos theta for all values of theta is not true because as theta increases the value of sin theta increases but that of cot theta and that of cos theta that of cos theta that of cos theta decreases so it cannot be always true But sin theta is equal to cos theta is true only for only for theta is equal to 45 degree sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2 cos 45 degree also 1 by root 2 so only for theta is equal to 45 degree sin theta is equal to cos theta it is not always true for one reason it is true when theta is 45 degree then come to the next question the last one the last question is that is number 5 or question number 4 cot A is not defined cot A is not defined for A is equal to 0 degree whether it is true or not cot 0 degree means cos 0 degree by sin 0 degree now value of cos 0 degree is 1 and value of sin 0 degree is 0 1 divided by 0 is undefined so is true is true 
because cot 0 degree is equal to cos 0 degree by sin 0 degree is equal to 1 divided by 0 is equal to undefined. This much. We have completed this exercise. Now we can move to the next exercise.